thought it'd be interesting to shoot some bees fighting, and you can see right there, those two. I have no way of knowing. Oh, they just fell, and there's dead ones down here already. Um, hopefully that was one of my bees that belong in this hive and not a robbing bee. So what I'm going to do, I put this entrance reducer on to try to prevent the robbing so fewer bees could get in the hive at one time and allow the guard bees um, a time to kill them. And what I did is, this came off during the night with these upper hive entrances, I duct tape them shut and it came off. So I'm going to duct tape them, shut again, and then I'm going to try what I've read is to put a wet sheet over the entire hive and the invading hives uh, just won't, won't understand the sheet, but the bees that belong in this hive will be able to figure out how to get under it. So you can see here I put a wet sheet over the hive and indeed the bees do not know how to get in. Um, the, what I've read is that my bees will figure it out. And you can see some of them are, oh, I zoom on this thing, uh, some of them are going around there we go. Underneath the wet sheet and figuring a way in. But the idea being that the robbers will get tired of this nonsense and leave. So we shall see. Oh, I, I, I don't think it's too bad because there's only like three dozen dead bees out front. So there's not hundreds, there's thousands. So um, hopefully I caught this in time. I can't resist a close-up of the bees. I don't know if we can see the pollen sacs. You can see one on that bee right there. Oops, I got a bee on my finger. Um, that's goldenrod right now. So that's protein for the brood, the pollen. So they, they get the pollen on their hair. Um, and then when they cleanse themselves and they get a lot, they stuff it into those pollen sacs and bring it into the hive. There's lots of bees coming in now with pollen sacs, orange pollen sacs, like 